Hey guys, we are back at it again. We are gonna do a smoke test on this engine. We're literally hours away from it going back into the car. So tomorrow morning, people are coming to my garage. We're gonna get this thing in there. Before that, uh, thank you to a very helpful individual who has been following along the build and left a comment saying that I should smoke test it at this stage. While it is easy to find the leaks and fix them a lot easier than if it were already back in the car. So today we're going to perform a smoke test on it. I have assembled here a little smoke test kit. I bought it on Amazon, the box Harbor Freight Ammo Box Special. So I'm just going to uh, put a link to this thing in case you want one. I've used it before. It's really nice, handy, easy to use. And I've got a whole nother video on how to set it up and use it. So I'll put a link to it up here somewhere uh, if you want to check that out. Um, but we're just going to do the smoke test real quick on this guy. The way we're going to do it is I'm going to introduce the smoke through here. It's got enough of a crack that it should go through. And I think the only place that I would expect smoke to come out now is this vacuum line that attaches to the air box. So we can just plug him off uh and smoke test look for smoke all right here goes nothing got my airline going into there i poked a hole through a little uh, work glove and that seal is super tight here and i just tied a knot really tight around the hole and the opening so now we sit and wait oh and this is uh, plugged up with a little plug that i bought with this uh, also kit on Amazon I can put in the description. Um, yeah, this is the boring part. I'll come back and report back. All right, I spent a lot of time walking around, looking, smelling everywhere because this stuff smells strong. Right around here, the connection, I can very faintly smell it. Um, but just to make sure this is actually working, let me remove this and make sure smoke is coming out because it seems uh, to be really tight. Yeah, I was afraid maybe the smoke just isn't coming through it. So let me go back and check out my setup one more time. I think it needed just a little bit more oil. Uh, obviously working now, as we can see, smoke dumping out this opening. So let me just try to squeeze that opening off. Okay, there we go. No more smoke escaping here. So now let's let it cook for a while. So it looks like it's so tight it's actually starting to pressurize my glove here. So that's gotta be a really good sign. there were any leaks, I would definitely not expect that. It's like a balloon filling up at a good little clip. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and reach over with my other hand and unplug this and uh, confirm that we have smoke escaping over there. All right, just uncap that. This thing is ballooning up. All right, kind of surprised. at this still, uh, unless I'm... All right, smoke is still coming out. I did not think that that would be airtight in here. Oh, I just realized this connects to a solenoid thing that is probably closed and not allowing air out. So that makes sense. Um, okay, so I think that pressure test just did the trick. I think I am pretty sure that we have no vacuum leaks now. Uh, all right, love it. Next step in the process, tomorrow we put this thing in. <laughs> 